Dealing with the Terminate bugs is quite an experience in Helldivers 2, but the Automatons are quite a different beast in itself. So much so that your playstyle will have to vary dramatically when dealing with the Automaton enemies. Due to the simple fact that, well, one faction prioritizes on having massive numbers and overwhelming you with bugs coming from every direction, and the Automaton faction is a faction that will prioritize on firepower, ranged attacks and other means of utilities such as being able to block you from using stratagem. The automatons will have you playing Helldivers 2 just like most other shooter games by taking cover, laying suppressive fire and so on. But in today's video we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of the units in this faction and how to best counter each and every enemy. So without any further ado let's go ahead and start with the weakest enemy in this faction and work our way up. Starting up we've got the troopers or raiders, marauders, you know basically the human-like bots, which come in different variants such as shooters, melee attackers, as well as rocket launcher wielding troopers. Now these are the most basic of automaton enemies and can be swiftly dealt with with a quick headshot or a few shots to the body. Just like the scavengers from the Terminid faction, you can quickly deal with a large group of these by throwing a grenade and getting rid of a full group very easily. These troopers are very easy to deal with and generally do very little amount of damage except for the rocket launcher variant. Make sure you get rid of these as soon as you can as a well-placed missile will be enough to knock your lights out and have you wasting a reinforcement. The goal of these troopers is to dwindle down your health and force you to waste stims as well as possibly even injure you or who knows, even make you waste a reinforcement. But really, the big guys do the cleaning up. Moving up in size, we've got the berserkers. Those berserkers are the chainsaw wielding melee enemies that can actually take quite a lot of hits before going down. These chainsaw wielding maniacs will have a little bit of armor that can take quite a lot of hits from light armor penetration weapons. Medium armor penetration weapons work great against these units as it will tear them to shreds. Their arms are quite weak as well and you can take off their arms and get rid of their weapons and potentially kill them this way, but this will take longer than just dumping a few shots at his face, which by the way, for most automaton, it will be the glowing red face, as you can clearly see here in the gameplay. The breaker will get rid of these units with a couple of shots and dismantle them entirely. Just be careful to not let these guys get too near you and you'll be good. And speaking on medium armored units, we've got the devastators. These are the units that will be about as big as the berserkers and these come in several different variants. The first variant will be a regular gunner devastator and these, just like the berserkers, are a bit resistant to light armor penetration weapons and will take a few hits to the face before going down. You can also just spam its center mass and it will drop dead, much of a secret there. Matter of fact, this will apply to all of their variants. I did not recommend prioritizing these first if you've got other automaton units nearby, especially if you've got the rocket devastator, which we'll talk about here in a second. The second variant is the shielded variant of the devastator, these are a bit annoying as the shield counts as heavy armor. To best deal with these, you've got two choices. One is, of course, the incredibly powerful railgun, which will kill these right through its shield. And the second option is shooting its arm off. When in a pinch and you're dealing with dozens of bots, just take the arm off these shielded bots and proceed to ignore them. Once you take their arm off one of these bots, they do not become a threat whatsoever, and you can go on to kill them once you've cleared out all the other bots. If you take your sweet time, try to kill off all of the shielded bots before moving on to killing other bots, you will waste a lot of precious time and ammo that you truly didn't need to waste until you're done with the swarm of enemies. These bots purpose is to waste your supplies on them as well as dwindle down your health, so just don't let that happen, just shoot their arm off, don't let them get too close and then finish them off later on. The third and most dangerous variant is the Rocket Devastator. And these are, in my opinion, just like the Hunters in the Terminate faction, in the sense that they're not the biggest or hardest enemy there is in the faction, but overall, they probably kill me and likely you the most out of any other automaton. You will notice these by the rockets they carry on their shoulders and their attacks are extremely dangerous. They shoot a barrage of very accurate rockets at you and even a single one of those rockets is enough to get rid of you. And unless you've got a Hulk charging up at you, these should be your absolute first priority to kill. To kill the rocket devastator is the same as the gunner devastator. They've got some armor to them and are susceptible to medium penetration weapons. The breaker weapon quickly gets rid of them if they're somewhat near you, 
as well as of course the trusty railgun which is extra special when you're playing against the automatons and the railgun as always will be great at quickly getting rid of them just make sure when dealing with rocket devastators or most automatons for that matter that you have some cover to quickly get behind should they activate the rocket barrage you will know they're activating the rocket barrage by kind of crouching down and inclining a little bit forward as if they're attempting to aim their rockets at you, which is exactly what he's doing. You can also shoot off their rockets off their shoulders, but just like the Berserkers and most other automaton units, it's not really worth shooting off their weapons, just focus on killing them by shooting them in the face. The only one I actually recommend getting rid of the weapon is the Shielded Devastator that we mentioned earlier. Up next, we've got the ATST from Star Wars, or should I say, the Striders. The Striders, even though they're quite easy to kill, they are very dangerous. The pilots, due to how high they are, they constantly have the high ground on you, unless you're on top of a hill over them. Which, funny enough, their biggest weakness is if you have the high ground on them because the strider's biggest weakness is the pilot their pilot will pretty much die from one hit from literally anything so you gotta find a way to hit them with whatever you can as you may already know they have a very thick armor in front of their strider so you've got to find a way around them and for dealing with that you've got a few choices the first being find a high ground like i mentioned earlier and hit their pilots the second being if you're already near them, you can dive past them and shoot the pilots in the back or find another way to walk around them and shoot the pilots in the back. And the third and most effective way to deal with them is to just grenade them. The blast radius doesn't even need to be that close to them. A single grenade can take out multiple striders even if the grenade doesn't land necessarily behind them. Striders are extremely weak to explosives, so stratagems and most notably the grenade launcher will obliterate these bots right back onto Star Wars. Next up we've got the scariest bot in the automaton faction in my opinion, the Hulk and all three of its variants. First up there's the Hulk Bruiser which out of the three variants is definitely the least dangerous Hulk and these are pretty standard bots, they're wielding a double assault rifle However, even though I think it's the weakest of the variants, I personally recommend treating hulks as priority one at all times. It should be dealt with as soon as possible as they are extremely deadly no matter what their variant is and they are incredibly armored. So how do we deal with this hulk? Dealing with a hulk is very similar to dealing with a charger from the terminate faction. We can either hit it with a very solid armor penetration stratagem such as the orbital precision strike or rail cannon or just like the charger Charger, the Hulk's weakest point is in its back, which will be a very bright glowing heatsink that is very weak and actually dies from only a few handful of shots. So should you catch a Hulk from behind, just blast it in its back and you'll quickly get rid of it. And seeing how its heatsink in the back is a very weak spot of the Hulk, we can also throw grenades behind the Hulk and only a few grenades will be enough to take it down. The most effective way however, to no one's surprise, is shooting the head with a couple of railgun shots and you'll get rid of a hulk extremely quickly. Two to three shots to the body and you'll get rid of a hulk and only one railgun shot to the face is enough to get rid of them. If you are not high level enough, I probably recommend using the grenade method if you're playing solo and if you're playing in a group, someone should bait the hulk while the other one shoots it in the back. Just beware, when a hulk does go down, he blows up in a pretty large blast radius that can kill you or any bots near it. Once again, making it even more of a priority to kill hulks first, seeing how they can not only die themselves, but also bring a few fellow bots with them. Now one of its very scary variants is the Scorcher Hulk, which in my opinion has got to be the scariest and deadliest bot in this faction, if you don't realize one is charging up to you. These carry a very powerful flamethrower that will kill you almost instantly should they reach you. Once again, Killing these is an absolute priority, as they will obliterate you and your entire team if you do not quickly get rid of them. Just like the Bruiser variant, killing them is the exact same. Shoot its back, grenade behind them, hit it with a stratagem, or hit it with a few railgun shots. And the third and last Hulk variant is the Hulk Liberator, or in other words, the Hulks that shoot off rockets. These are like an even deadlier and tankier version of the Rocket Devastator and should be the biggest priority regardless of what other bots are on the field. Because these bots will send a large barrage of rockets that will obliterate you and your team as long as it remains alive. Even the tank in this faction is not as nearly as dangerous as these guys, so make sure you get rid of them as soon as they're spotted. Once again, 
Dealing with them is the exact same as the other Hulk. Grenades and shots to the back, stratagems, or railgun shot. And moving on to the biggest offensive units in this faction, we've got the tanks. Starting with the Annihilator tank, which by the way, looks just like a regular cannon tank, which unlike the Bio Titan in the Terminate faction, these tanks are not as nearly as dangerous in my opinion. They're extremely slow, which makes them a very easy target to hit with stratagems, and not only are they slow in movement, but they also turn very slowly, which makes escaping its gunfire very easy. Tanks are really only a problem when combined with a lot of infantry units, because you'll likely be confused between getting rid of the tank first or the unit. But generally speaking, I do not recommend prioritizing the tank at all. And due to its very slow nature, you should really only concern yourself with nuking it with a couple of stratagems, many of which will one hit a tank very easily. Even stratagems that don't particularly one hit a bio titan, such as the rail cannon strike, they do however one hit the tank, making it very worth it to bring a rail cannon strike in automaton worlds in my opinion, and you can just hold on to these until you see a tank and you can take it out immediately with just one stratagem. Should you not have any stratagems out of cooldown to deal with a tank, then you've pretty much only got two options. First is getting behind the tank's turret and laying down gunfire and its heat sink. The turret turns fairly slow quite a bit slower than your character's movement, so you should be alright to do this with either armor type. Granted, you'll likely only have a shot at doing this if there are no infantry units nearby, and you can also of course, just like the Hulk, lay down a few grenades to hit its heatsink and about 3-4 to four grenades and the tank is done for. And the second choice is by utilizing a heavy armor penetration weapon to quickly get rid of it by shooting it down. The railgun, as always, which should be always equipped by players as of the time of this video being released, takes about 10 shots to kill a tank without overcharging the shots, which is very easily done because you can easily remain behind cover as you slowly lay down fire onto the tank until it's taken out. Tanks aren't really going to be your worst enemy, they're just going to be a resource dump, mostly wasting your stratagems on them because you don't want to leave it alive. Should you stand still and not properly counter the tank by utilizing your movement or cover of course, and you'll be ground beef in no time. One thing I should note is the tanks will send out a large explosion blast upon being destroyed just like the Hulk, which not only hurts the players, but also the units near it. The second variant of the tank is the Shredder tank, and you'll know these by the primary weapon not being a cannon, and instead being kind of like a flat gun setup. Countering these will be the exact same as the previous tank, but do note the turret turns a lot faster than the Annihilator's turret, so getting behind it, at least if you're solo, is not really a viable choice. However, you can still hug these tanks and lay down railgun fire on its armor, and it'll kind of just accept its fate, unless you choose to stand in front of it of course. Now these tanks are very deadly and should be dealt with with a higher priority than the previous tank, but once again, if you hold on to your rail cannon stratagems, or whatever your stratagem of choice is, then you can get rid of these tanks extremely quickly, far before it even becomes a problem. If playing in a group, just have a player or two holding on to the stratagems that can one hit these tanks, and these will never be much of an issue. And we can't go on without bringing up these next two honorable mentions, the dropships and the stationary cannon turrets. In case you were unaware, the dropships that drop off reinforcements for the bots are actually destructible as they should be, and if you can destroy them before they release their bots, it will automatically kill all of its passengers. So when playing in large groups of Helldivers, it is entirely possible to get rid of these dropships before they deliver reinforcements. As a solo player, this isn't really going to be much of a choice as it takes quite a bit of firepower to take these down. There are a few stratagems like the auto cannon turret that can solo one of these dropships, but either way, not really a consistent way to take them out, just thought it was worth mentioning it. And lastly, there is the cannon turret towers. Now these are the stationary turrets that will spawn mostly in heavy outposts, main objectives, and as points of interest. These cannon turrets are a carbon copy of the same turret that's used on the Annihilator tank, and they work the same exact way. They turn just as slowly, so you can get behind it with movement and shoot its heatsink if that's what you opt in for. And it takes about as many railgun hits as a tank, which in my experience is about 10 shots. The problem with these towers is that hitting it with a stratagem can be quite awkward as it stands so high up. Generally, I use the 
railgun to get rid of these, but a rail cannon strike will get rid of it in one hit as well, if you've got no other choice. But yeah, that's all for the automaton enemies. Let me know in the comment section below if this has been helpful. And those of you who noticed if I left anything out, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next Helldivers video. Peace.